everybody it's me Tracy again today's video is going to be a, on a bride and groom theme so the first video is going to be done on this bride dress so these glass was the ones that was originally sold at the Dollar Tree they no longer in stock at all so the other ones that's being ordered for this is going to be taller so it's going to be taller than this one so since i have glass already i might as well show you how i did it stay tuned first you get a piece of paper right we know these are eight inches tall you get us a piece of paper we're going to fold it in half not all the way completely folded down you don't want to crease the whole paper up just about that little bit see what I'm doing and then you want to take scissors and you want to create a bride's dress just by basically just cutting it up in the angle in the angle then coming back down with it make sure my paper and then bringing it down into a loop so that's all we're doing see see what I did I cut up and brought down into the loop and that's what it looked like this is a standard a5 by 11 white 90 pound car stock that's the only thing y'all know that I like to use so the items you're gonna need one of these you can order them on Michael's website that's the order that's coming you can buy them in bulk this is the glitter that I normally will lose for the white dress and this is the bling that I will use but since I have to make 16 make a set for eight tables I'm not going to use the stuff that you know that I need for the making for the wedding so I found some blue I'm going to use blue or should I get a different color <laughs> well a bride can wear a blue dress but I don't want to waste my glitter. So, after you cut the page, you pretty much lean the glass, bring the glass down some. Don't bring your thing completely to the top. You don't want it completely to the top. Because you want to leave a little space so that the, the candle itself is going to go inside and it's going to go. So, we're going to turn it this way. And we're gonna we're gonna mark it with a pen. So this is basically a template that I'm making. Because you I don't know if you're gonna find this on on a website. You might, you might not. So I'm gonna take my slice, my slicing board, and then I'm just gonna just cut off the bottom piece of it. Because I don't need all that because it's too much for the glass. So I'm going to put it back on here now at the bottom of the glass. And you see how nice that is? How nice that is? All oh, pretty and white. So, the next step is, let me make sure I got enough. Right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to glue this to the glass. Because how many people has a steady hand and, and to be able to make this and put it on the glass? So this is what I came up with and this is what I like. And I think it's easier. I don't know if anybody else is doing it that way. But the one I did, the two that I did, the one that I did was very easy. So I'm going to put some glue on my paper that's what i'm gonna do glue up my paper let me turn this down some so you can see then i'm putting glue yes i'm gonna glue glue the paper i'm gonna start with this end part first one half of the dress
because you don't want to put all of it on at the same time. And then I'm going to put this on here. Making sure it's nice and even all the way around. So you want to focus, you want to mainly focus on this part because you want all this to be smooth and you want this part to be together. And then, you know, got a little bit of space here. So you just pull it back down and add a little bit of glue in there, you know. Don't worry about the extra. So you got that one down all nice and glued so now we're going to go pull that apart a little bit and then we're going to add the glue to the rest of it so um i haven't watched anybody's video but i'm sure there's a, a lot of different ways to do it but when it comes to using that um wedding glitter the, the sparkly glitter that they use for weddings and stuff it's transparent so you can, you can see through it a lot and when i put it on the glass listen i would have had to use almost a whole bottle just for for one glass and that's 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 not gonna work for me so i said let me make my template Everything is nice, even. I'm gonna smooth out the glue. Oh goodness! Excuse me. <laughs> All that shaking make it fall down. So I'm just smoothing out the glue, making sure not too much bubbles or stuff that's going on back here. You don't want all that going on. But once you put your glitter on, your nice layer of glitter it should be okay yeah and like i said i'm not using my glitter i'm gonna use the blue so now that all of this is done then i'm gonna take and i'm gonna go over the paper with the same glitter I mean, with the same um, with glue on top of it. A little bit at a time. Stand, you know, even with the way the gown is made. And this glue is chunky glue. I mean, chunky um, glitter that I'm using. So it's going to cover cover better when it comes to when y'all want to do you know do a wedding theme or help somebody out with their wedding theme you want to use a thicker glitter because you don't want to be using fine I mean you can't use fine but this you're going to need a lot of it so so like I said I'm not going to use my pretty one I'm going to use blue because that's the only thing I can find in here, other than the black. So I'm just gonna shake the blue on it. Covering up all the glue that I just put on there. And I have an extra paintbrush to get rid of the stuff that's been left on the glass that you don't want. Hey, but will you home? It's three o'clock already. So, if you get around your edges and you see your edges is not all the way, that's fine because you can leave a little bit of that space for the bling. So 
So you just add some more because remember you put it on paper. You just add some more around that edge. And then like when you finish, you can always go back and add more because you know, sometimes you need more than one coat. So I'm just gonna shake some more on top of there to make sure I got all my coverage. So you see how nice they look so far. So I can paint the whole thing and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the whole glass done already in blue. You know, there's always some touching up what you're going what you're going to be doing. So, and then you use a dry brush to clean it up and get the glitter off the parts that don't belong there. So that's the first part of it. The first part. So the second part is, you know, you would normally let it dry, but this is not something I'm making for somebody. This is for the video purpose, so I'm not gonna completely let it dry. I'm going to use the cheap bling on it. If you're going to probably, when I do the one for the, for the wedding in Cancun, I'm going to be using the real, real diamond studs. So I got B7, I'm using B7000 because of that precise point. That's what I'm going to be using that for. And then I'm going to put around the edge here where I want to put the blade. And, and yes, I've seen people use this one. So you pretty much use whatever you want because you're the one making it. So you do what you want. So no, I'm, I'm not letting it dry. But you see, I'm putting that on there nicely. Just putting the glue half on the glass and half on the edging of this thing to cover some of the white that the, um, the glitter didn't cover. And you basically just want to stay you know, it takes a few seconds for this glue to get tacky. So, so be patient with any glue that you're using. You have to be patient. I mean, I guess you could hot glue it, but unless you got a fine tip hot glue, this thing going to be thick and cakey. So this is the part where you need to be careful and um, making sure that don't move as much. And you just keep going all the way around with it, being patient. That's all. Everything is about being patient during your presentation because you want everything to look good. At least I do. I'm not gonna have nothing. Sloppy. I don't do nothing sloppy. So, if you'd like to be a part of the group, the Crafting Together S1, answer all the questions. If you're new to Facebook, you will not get in. Sorry. Because there's a lot of hackers out here. And everybody's trying to get in my group. And then once they get in the group, then they want to sell logos and stuff like that. Or posting everybody else's video instead of my own sharing other people's links and things instead of my own but that's what people do sometimes they come on here to destroy you so I'll we'll put this bling on and be back if you get a little glue on there from the from the chain moving around just use some green rubbing alcohol 
or white and just clean it up. It comes right off. Now that the dress part is done and the bling is all done, I use white car stock, but I use white car stock because I'm going to use white glitter. This is blue. If you're going to do a different color theme, then use the same color paper that you use for the theme. So if you're going to do blue, do blue car stock. That way, you won't see white with extra little glitter or something spilling all up inside there or, you know, it's all about not being messy. So take that in mind. If you're going to do a red dress or uh, any kind of occasions, get ball gownish type of thing, use the same color car stock. That way it won't show through stuff. All right, let's get right into the tutu. Part it's gonna be big and full just like this one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I got the regular six inch by 200 yards. I'll leave the description for the tool. So you wanna have some ribbon on hand and basically just gonna bunch it until we get a whole lot under our fingers because you just can't bunch and make one you have to at least use six so depend on how big you how much crunching you do is depend on how many you need to use to make the dress so i'm going to make one this so take that like that and then I'll use some of this tie, ribbon tie. And I'm just going to tie a knot in it and then cut it off. Tie a knot, cut it off. A nice tight, real nice and tight. And then you want to cut that off. That's all. And then fluff it off. So you want six of them. Three, four, five, six should be enough to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just open it up and lay it in there. I'm going to wrap this one around the first one. So, so what I'm doing, finding my middle, and then I'm gonna wrap the first one around it like that, All right? And then the rest of them, I'm gonna find my middle, and then I'm just gonna put it on the ribbon without actually tying it up, all six pieces. pushing them together but that's how I'm going to add it onto the jar so so I said six should be enough if not just add more but it all depends on how much bunching you do because you can't bunch with so much alright so I got these all together like this so I got it all together no my dress is not dry but it could be like a cabaret thing like if you're going to use like other colors besides the blue and then I'm going to basically just put this around here at the bottom of the dress you know pushing it together because you don't want to see and you got to take in mind that I am using blue so 
So just basically keep adding on there. So this is actually six and six is, is looking, it's looking okay, but it's looking like it might need eight. So I'm not really sure how much I used for the last one, but it's six. So far it's six. And you gotta mess with it. See how it's looking so far? So I'm just gonna get two more pieces. Two more pieces, find the middle of my um, puff balls. Find the middle. And just add that in there. Not making a tutu skirt or nothing, but we, we wanna make it look full for the dress. So just, Basically, just sticking them in there. I'm worrying about fluffing at the moment. I know when I do the eight dresses, the eight for once the jars come, it's going to require. And then I'm just going to tie it off in the back. Just tying it off. Nice and snug. You got to watch yourself with it tying part because it needs to be tight so I'm gonna twist it twist it twist it and now tie it off that way it stay in place and then I'm going to cut off my excess string because we don't need it don't cut your lace yeah the tool and then just take your hands out and and give it some fluff that's all pulling some pieces together that might can be moved around give it a little bit of fluff because we don't want too much string to show we don't want string so so you want to move around because you don't want all that string And then there, there's some sealer that you need to buy first, which I didn't buy. I just wanted to do the video and share how I did my dress. Because my glitter is falling off. So you need glitter sealer. sealer. Glitter sealer. They come in a spray. A spray. Because you, I can't give it to them if all my glitter is going to be falling off. So I will spray it. So there you go, everybody. That's how I got my girls. There you go. Up next is the man, the man one. So the group is crafting together is one. Thanks for watching my video. Upcoming next is how I did the man's suit on the glass. Thanks for watching.